In this video, the SOLIDWORKS indent feature will be shown. This feature is useful in order to create packaging for products as well as for creating stamp products or molds. This tool requires a target body and a tool body, one of which needs to be a solid body. These bodies also need to be in contact with each other. To use this tool, create two separate bodies that intersect. In this case, one of them is a surface. The indent feature can be found under Insert, Features, and then Indent. Next, under Target Body, select the body that will be indented. In this case, it will be the surface. Now choose the body that will be used to create the indent, which in this case is the arrow. The option to keep selections means that the target body will deform around the area that is highlighted in yellow. This is shown with the tool body hidden so that the indent can easily be seen. If remove selection is chosen, then the material kept will be opposite of that selected. If the cut option is chosen, then the material in the target body will be removed as opposed to being indented. Under the parameters heading, the thickness option is only available for a solid body being the target body. This parameter determines the amount of material beyond the indentation to be specified. The last parameter allows clearance to be left around the part for indenting. This is useful if creating a mold for a part that will shrink once it is cured or allowing room around a product when creating packaging. Besides using bodies that are created in the same part, a body can be imported to be used as the indenting feature. A part can be inserted by going under Insert, then Parts. This part can be moved into the correct position by selecting the Move slash Copy feature under the Locate Part heading and the Insert Part feature. You have the ability to translate or rotate the part to get it into the correct position. Another option is to use Constraints to mate the part to the desired location. The move slash copy feature can also be found under insert, features, then move slash copy. The indent feature can then be used the same way as before. Note that when the tool body is updated, the indent will update as well. I hope this video has been helpful.